In this project, I show you the teardown of this old trellis that houses uh, two grapevines and the creation of a new one uh, using hog wire. Uh, hog wire is cool because it offers a lot more uh, surface area for the grapes to hang on and uh, it's got some stiffness to it so there's no tension on the wires that would pull your posts together. Uh, one trick here was that, as you can see, I had to uh, put this together uh, with existing grapevines. So, you know, ideally you build your trellis, then you plant your grapes. Here I've got grapes already, and then I'm building the trellis kind of around them. So I just kind of let the grapevines sag down a bit. And I thought they were going to snap, and I maybe should have staked them out a little better, but it worked out. They just kind of sagged off to the side. These were just two or three year old grapes, so maybe they have a little more elasticity. Anyway, I pulled out the uh, kind of cross looking um, old uh, stanchions for the previous trellis and uh, the reason I could pull them out is I didn't set them in concrete to begin with. Uh, a lot of posts like this I'll just set in the ground and then uh, compress the earth, uh, you know, tamp it down around the post and I find it holds pretty good unless you're using, unless you're putting in like a fence that's going to have a lot of wind. Uh, so I dug the holes uh, for the posts and I had to increase the size a bit because as you can see I used some giant posts for this, uh, super sized, way bigger than needed. I just like the look of them and I got a good deal of them at uh, my local store called Rural King. And this is just a look at uh, my uh, rock bar, which is a sweet tool for digging in hard earth. Uh, this is not rocky earth, but what's nice about the rock bar is that it's got that round end to it, which is a really good tamp for highly compacted soil you know usually a tamp is like six by six or eight by eight on the end but this guy is like about three inches across and just creates a lot of pressure and is nice for setting a post and uh really the trick to setting these guys in the ground is just getting them level so i leveled up the post tamped them in place checked the level again then i was all set now i put this post in level and, and good and then the next one needed to be 128 inches away 128 inches just because that's the length of the uh, hog wire that I'm using exactly 128 would put it make a good good fit so I put the next hole in at 128 inches plus or minus give a little wiggle room and then set the next post And this post went in pretty smoothly. I just kind of measured and remeasured a few times just to make sure I had that location dialed in. You don't want your hog wire to buckle and kind of bow if your posts are too close together. And you don't want them to be too far apart because then the hog wire would kind of, uh, you know, it'd be hard to attach to your posts. All right, so with that post in, sh in place, and tamped in and feeling pretty solid. I went ahead and uh, cut my hog wire. Uh, the hog wire piece I got originally was 16 feet. So I cut it down a bit. I just didn't want that long of a trellis. And I cut it down with my battery powered angle grinder which had enough juice for a small job like this. And uh, this is a little awkward if you want to hang your hog wire, I'd recommend either get someone else to help you, a big old piece like this, or you can uh, do what I did is I screwed a little block of wood to the base of my post. You can see it here at the bottom. Uh, set the hog wire on that block, and then I used some clamps to uh, clamp the hog wire in place before I affix it to the post. Now, uh, first, I, I actually used some big old staples or tacks, and I tacked it in place. Um, but really, I think you want your hog wire screwed into your post. You just get a way better connection that way. So after nailing it in, I went ahead and uh, raided my plumbing supply kit. And I had some brackets for hanging copper pipe. And I'll show you those here. Uh, the brackets for hanging copper pipe were just awesome for uh, screwing that hog wire into the, into the post. You know, it just gave it a stronger connection. So I put, you know, four or five on each side and uh, got the hog wire to the right height. I think it was about 20 inches off the ground, 18 inches off the ground, something like that. And the trellis was done. Uh, the next thing to do, obviously, was to get those grapes back in place. And I just kind of eased them up and then uh, tied them very loosely to the hog wire. 
and I've got my trellis back in action. Um, these grapes have, like I said, been there a couple years and they were productive last year. So I really like the way this hog wire has a bunch of surface area and uh, more room for the grapes to hang. It will be a sort of visual barrier between our house and the one next door as well, which is kind of an added bonus. Uh, thank you for checking out the video. Uh, liking, subscribing, sharing, all that stuff is appreciated. If you leave comments down below, I will definitely respond. You can also follow me on Instagram or Patreon.